All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Today, I will be answering 10 questions. So first, I just want to say thank you to everybody who commented a question. And now let's get straight into the question, starting with Mr. Blue. ASA, how come you like potatoes so much? Come on, you know why. Okay, so in all seriousness, maybe about a year, maybe two years ago, actually, now that I think about it, I started watching more and more people on streams, and I just wanted to be completely random in the comments, like in the chat, make people be like, what the heck is he talking about? And so I started copying one of my favorite characters from a cartoon I watched, I watched as a kid called Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. This character right here, his name is Cheese, and he says random things. Yeah, I like potatoes. He was eating soap when I found him. Potatoes smell like flowers. Cheese! <laughs> oh, cheese, little bro. I'm so happy you're okay. Here you go, little buddy. I just kind of I just kind of adopted that I guess like that personality and I just wanted to be completely random and so that's honestly where I like potatoes and stuff comes from of course in real life I do absolutely love potatoes mashed potatoes baked potatoes potato soup potato salad fries or chips crisp I guess if you're British it's just all so good I love potatoes so much they're just amazing so those are the two reasons I guess I don't know did I answer that question right probably not next question is from CF productions and he says ASA what do you think of the new Lego Star Wars sets all right so right now there's only two that have been released at least as of when I'm making this video and it is the newest ATST and the Snowtrooper Battle Pack the Snowtrooper Battle Pack looks amazing I love Snowtroopers I mean okay I, I shouldn't say I love Snowtroopers but of course I love anything Imperial so I like Snowtroopers I think it goes good with the UCS ATAT assuming you can get both because then it's like hey more Snowtroopers right and then and that scout trooper just absolutely amazing i'm not a huge fan of the price but i do think that it might be just so they can like bounce back because they probably took a hit with last year and this year's like sets selling and everything i think that's part of the reason why that they're more expensive like battle packs now i'm still gonna get it on day one and i think it looks absolutely amazing the atst though mm, i don't know i think it'll look good in person i'm i'm hoping it will but on the box and in those like stock photos and everything or whatever you want to call them it's just kind of ugly it's just got such a small head and really long legs so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to get both the sets on day one and I think there's going to be other sets too. So it'll be fun. I'm really excited about the sets and I hope that other sets get released soon or like the images because I'm really excited. Next question is from Darth Dan and he says, ASA, what's your opinion on the book of Boba Fett? Well, I don't really have an opinion yet because the show hasn't come out, but based on what I've seen in the trailers and everything, I'm really excited and I think it's going to be a good show. I couldn't imagine why it wouldn't be because I loved the Mandalorian and it's kind of going to be like that but with Boba Fett I think they're going to do a lot with the show that like no one would expect coming because I guess Boba Fett's kind of like a good guy now and so that's kind of interesting I guess he's going to right his wrongs if I had to guess the book is going to be like what he's doing like crossing out names of people that either double crossed him or Jabba and now he's either executing them or making things right I don't really know what's going to happen but I'm excited for the show and so I can't wait but hopefully after the show comes out then i can have more of an opinion on it next question is from the lego man and he says asa what's your favorite ucs star wars set so that is a really tough question because there's honestly quite a lot it used to be the slave one and i do own that one so that's really cool but i think i'm gonna go with the atat -AT now i definitely won't be getting it anytime soon or possibly ever maybe someday who knows it is just so gorgeous atats -AT are one of my favorite imperial star wars ships in general i, I guess it's not really a ship huh like vehicle i'll say and so to have a ginormous one in lego it's just so gorgeous and beautiful i just i don't know i i really want to get it i don't know if i'm going to though because that's a big commitment for me 800 dollars you know i think that's my favorite now if if i'm not allowed to count it because i don't have it then i'll say the slave one because i have the slave one or i'm sorry boba fett starfighter because 
Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that. But yeah, the at is just so gorgeous. Next question is from EK Starlord, and he says, Do you like American Dad? Honestly, I've never seen it. I'm sorry, EK. I swear every time you ask a question, I'm like, oh, I've never seen it. Or no, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it just works out that way. But in this case, it's because I've just never seen the show. So I don't have an opinion on it. Next question is from Hershey. And he says, are you going to do more streams in the future? Honestly, no. But I will on other people's channels. Does that make sense? I'm always happy to join other people's streams because then I'm not like the host. And I don't have to worry about like turning on my camera and entertaining people i can just kind of chat with other people and entertain the people watching that channel but like i'm not the sole purpose of like the streaming or the stream if that makes sense so it's less pressure i guess if other people want me on their stream i'm always happy to join and i really do enjoy doing that but not on my channel i know that seems kind of silly so to answer your question if you mean like will i do streams on my channel no i don't think so not for a really long time or, or possibly ever again Again, because even though it'd be really good to get my watch time up and everything I just don't like it however I will stream on other people's channels and I always have a blast doing that so if anyone's interested hit me up next question is from YND Bricks and he says ASA what are your thoughts on the No Way Home trailer oh my goodness it looks amazing I've been waiting for Spider-Man out of all the Marvel movies that have come out or were back like in the beginning of this year bleh, bleh, I can't speak in the beginning of this year I was really excited for Spider-Man and I was like, I can't wait for Spider-Man. Everything else was just kind of, oh, right, you know? And so I can't wait. The trailer looks amazing. I loved how they accidentally left in Lizard getting punched in the face and now everyone went crazy over that. That was funny. He moves right there. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, the trailer just looks absolutely amazing. I honestly need to go back and watch all the old Spider-Man movies now because apparently this movie's gonna have a good bit to do with those ones. So that's just so cool to me. Like it, it's funny how they're now going to be able to say that that property that's not theirs is their property. Does that make sense? I just think that's cool and fun. So I'm really excited. The trailer looks amazing and got me hyped. I was gonna watch the movie and was really excited for the movie even if I hadn't seen the trailer. So the trailer just adds fuel to the fire, you know? Next question is from bot one and he says asa what's your favorite series on the channel for me personally it's asa well thank you i'm glad to hear that you have a favorite series on my channel that makes me feel happy honestly i'm gonna agree with you asa is my favorite series too it's my favorite series to make because i love being able to answer people's questions it's honestly the easiest series too because literally all i do is apply all this audio over me playing a video game and then put pictures so you know what i'm talking about and then boom i have a video versus like if i review a lego Star Wars set or something I had to actually you know review the Lego Star Wars set so this is a lot easier and I guess in the way I get to play video games too so it makes it fun I just love ASA though I've always have and when I started this series I knew I would and it's actually my most popular series too so that's cool so that means a lot of other people like it too next question is from Taco Builds even though he only has one Z I just wanted to add all those Z's. and he says ASA what is your favorite food besides potatoes well sadly because I can't say potatoes I guess I had to pick some Something else. I'm gonna go with pizza, burgers, chicken nuggets. I know that makes me a kid, but I love me some chicken nuggets and chocolate because who doesn't love chocolate? Chocolate! 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 And our last and possibly most confusing question is from Sinker Films, and he says, I don't know if I've already asked this, but what is your fave Band-Aid flavor? I don't know what this means. It's so confusing to me. So I'm just going to add on to the confusion and say chocolate. And so that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed and comment a question or two for the next episode of ASA. I will pin my favorite to the top because you know that's what I do. So until next time, thank you all for watching and have a fan dabby dozy day. Goodbye.